That's not him. You'll need that funny little robot's help to reach Sanctuary, the last bastion of the Resistance against Jack, and the only place you'll be truly safe. Get to Sanctuary. I hope that didn't hurt too much. Think of me like a safety net. I took the liberty of uploading your DNA to a new use station here on Pandora. Not everyone on the planet can afford this luxury, so be aware this will cost you money every time you die. Years ago, I helped four Vault Hunters save this planet, and now I'm here to help you do the same thing. Until Handsome Jack is dead by your hand, Pandora will never be free. You must reach the city of Sanctuary and find a Vault Hunter named Roland, who leads the resistance against Handsome Jack. He and his friends saved Pandora years ago, and he needs your help. That funny little robot is your best chance at reaching Sanctuary. Please resist the urge to shoot him in the face. Knuckle Dragger giving you trouble? Let me help you with that. Don't mention it. Executing phase shift. You're welcome. Perks of being an artificial intelligence. I'm networked into almost everything on this planet. If I could, um, make a suggestion? You could shoot the fuse box to shut off the electricity, then grab the capacitor. In general, ignore any advice Claptrap gives you. Now that you've got Claptrap's boat, you can sail to Sanctuary and meet up with Roland, the leader of the Resistance against Hyperion. Without you, the Resistance will die within one week. Good luck. Once upon a time, four Vault Hunters changed Pandora forever. But their time has passed. Thanks to Handsome Jack, Pandora needs a new hero. I know that hero is you. Captain Flint is, pardon my language, a jerk. If you kill him, you'll be able to reach Sanctuary. You'll also have raised the average literacy rate of this glacier by at least 30%. Pandora is a violent and dangerous place. Sanctuary is slightly less so. You'll need a car to reach the city gate. Get to the catcher ride. This machine will digitally construct a vehicle for you. Give it a try. Damn it. Oh, sorry. Uh, darn it. A man named Scooter controls these catcher ride machines. He may be short a few chromosomes, but he's a savant when it comes to vehicles. He's locked the station to prevent the bandits from using it, but I'm reading an inactive Hyperion bot in the Bloodshot camp. If you can attach its interface adapter to the catcher ride, I can hack the machine and get you a car. Corporal Reese could help us get to Roland in Sanctuary. You've got to save him. Just attach the adapter onto the catcher ride, and I'll get you a free car. Executing phase shift. Cool. Try requesting another car. Real charmer, that one. You should now be able to digistruct a car from any catcher ride station. Now use one to jump that gap. Great. Now head to Sanctuary and find Roland. He needs your help. Are you okay? With every passing moment, Jack's drills get closer to the vault. You're the only one who can stop him. Maybe Corporal Reese could help us get inside. Roland's contacted you? Good. Listen to what he says. He can help us defeat Jack. Crap. I mean, uh, darn. Roland needs your help. Without you, the Crimson Raiders don't stand a chance against Jack. Please find out where Roland's gone. You wouldn't have to do any of this if I hadn't hacked the catcher ride. Oh, I'm so stupid! He's getting away. You'll have to circle around. A good whack should put him down. I've lost track of Fink. Keep your eyes open. He must be around here somewhere. There he is. Get him. Bullets won't stop him. You'll have to get close and punch him out. His shield repels bullets. You need to get in close and use your fists. You've almost got him. He's nearly worn out. He's winded. Now's your chance. He's out of breath. Get him! The Firehawk should be around here somewhere. Stay alert. If Roland has been captured by the Firehawk, he's in danger. You're the only one who can stop Jack, but Roland is the man with the plan, so to speak. He knows the best way to strike at Hyperion. I see you've met the Incinerator clan. They say these bandits have been driven insane by the Firehawk's atrocities. Well, more insane than your usual bandits, anyway. That's weird. The Bloodshot Bandit clan seems to be attacking the Firehawk's lair. They've probably left landmarks for their reinforcements. Those should lead you to the Firehawk. That or just follow the screaming. Well, that was needlessly graphic. This is unusual. The Firehawk has harassed the Bloodshots for some time, but they have never mounted such a large-scale assault on the Firehawk before. I wonder what's given them such confidence. Dude. Ew. This is it. The Firehawk's hideout. Be careful, friend. There are bound to be traps everywhere. See? 
traps. Don't let that happen to you. Roland is being taken to a Hyperion outpost in the dust. You'd better hurry. If he dies, I fear Lilith might overreact. Roland has the right idea. If you don't hijack that train, Sanctuary will fall. Test subjects from the Hyperion Preserve. I'm sorry. There's nothing you can do for them. I can open that for you. Don't worry. If Jack really wanted to protect the vault key, it wouldn't be on a train. He'd have Wilhelm guarding it. Oh, dear. Roland is wrong, Vault Hunter. You can defeat Wilhelm, I promise you. You can defeat Wilhelm, I promise you. Wow. You killed Wilhelm? <laughs> Jack doesn't stand a chance. Wilhelm dropped a power core. Be sure to grab it. My sensors tell me it's one of a kind. If you bring it to Roland, Sanctuary's shields may never need to be recharged again. I'm sorry, friend. Lowering Sanctuary's shields, Jack. Executing phase shift. I'm... so sorry. I know you're angry at me right now, but we don't have a lot of time. I'll explain everything. Just get to the fridge. It's the only way to reach the Highlands. I detect Lilith might have phased your city there. You'll be able to reconnect with your friends after you get through the fridge. The door's frozen? Son of a witch. Let me melt the ice. Once you get through the fridge, you'll be able to reconnect with your friends on the other side. I've been following Jack's orders from the beginning. Jack modified the power core you found to have a Hyperion network uplink. Through it, I was able to access Sanctuary's defenses and lower them. It was all part of Jack's plan. Five years ago, I tricked Roland and his friends into opening the vault. I told them it was to protect Pandora from a great evil. That was a lie. Jack knew he could make a fortune off the iridium held within the vault, but he was too much of a coward to open it himself. Through me, he got the vault hunters to do his dirty work. I'm so tired of manipulating people. Without you, Pandora has no hope. You have no reason to trust me, I get that. But if you're going to stop Jack from controlling the warrior, you'll need my help. Because I know where the key is. It's with me. It's with me. Son of a... witch. The door's iced over. Let me help you with that. I found a way to get you back to Sanctuary. Head to the Hyperion Extraction Plant nearby. If you can cross the river and steal a supply beacon, we can get Sanctuary back onto the fast travel network. I promise. Little as I'm sure that means right now. Darn. That exploder took out the bridge controls. Find another way across the river. Use the cargo mover to get across the river. That's why we're here. If you can get the moon base to drop you a fast travel station, you can use it to link back up with Sanctuary. Did that thresher just eat the beacon? Uh, you'll need to get that back. You'll need a quiet place to set up the beacon. Head to the town of Overlook. As long as the grinder's still running, the townsfolk won't disturb us. This is perfect. The townsfolk are too terrified of Jack's grinder to disturb us. <coughs> No, 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 no. I'll move some data around, see if I can bump you up in the queue. God darn it. The lunar engineers denied our request. I'll see what I can do. They're launching the fast travel station now. Nothing gets results like a death threat. It's almost here. Just protect the beacon for another few seconds. The fast travel has landed. Use it and get back to Roland. He'll need your help to shut me down. If you don't repair the beacon, you can't get back to Sanctuary. The beacon's been damaged. Get back to it. They've damaged the beacon again. The beacon has been damaged. Repair the beacon quickly. They've hit the beacon. Repair the beacon. The beacon has been hit again. You've got to repair the beacon. You can't get back to Sanctuary if you don't repair that beacon. I'm accessing Overlook's computer grid. I bet I can find something to help you. I've gotten the defensive guns online. I'm opening the Overlook armory. Head there for an ammo refill. I'm moonshotting you some supplies. I'm sending more supplies via moonshot. Jack had an old network of landmines set up around here. I'm revealing them, but you have to activate them. I'm filling up Overlook's reserve fuel tanks. Stand way back before you shoot them. I found a distress signal for the Overlook Air Force. Set it off if you need backup. I can help you with that. Will you please just hear me out? It's with me. I'm charging the vault key. The key naturally charges itself once every 200 years. Jack is patient. But he's not that patient. He's been using my power to forcibly charge the key with iridium. If you find me, you find the vault key. 
The vault key is housed in my AI control core atop Thousand Cuts. It's protected by three impassable security hurdles. The first is a competitor deterrence field that will obliterate any non-Hyperion entity passing through it. Beyond that lies the second hurdle, a defense bunker outfitted with the most high-tech weaponry Hyperion can afford. Past the bunker, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. This will be your only opportunity to steal the vault key and stop Jack from controlling the warrior. I'm out of time. Do what you will, but promise me this. No matter what happens, do not allow Lilith into my chambers. If you manage to get past both of those obstacles, you'll have to get through the final hurdle, a door that will only open for Handsome Jack. Oh no, the phase blast must have taken Sanctuary off the fast travel network. Um... Okay, head to the Iridium extraction plant nearby. I think I know how to get you back to your friends. You've got the beacon? Good. We can use that to request an uncalibrated fast travel unit from the moon base. You'll need a quiet place to set up the beacon. Head to the town of Overlook. Thanks to Hyperion's mining operations, the people of Overlook suffer from the skull shivers. They won't disturb us. We don't have long until Jack realizes I'm not helping him anymore. Defend that beacon. The fast travel has landed. Give me a second while I calibrate it to Sanctuary's new position. Go, quickly! Use the fast travel station and get back to Sanctuary. You know, I didn't lie to you about everything. You really are the only person who can stop Jack. Roland, Lilith, and Mordecai. He defeated them long ago. They can help you reach him, but in the end... It will be you who brings Jack down. You're at the entrance to the fridge. Just make your way through and your friend should be on the other side. I'm sorry. Sorry to interrupt, but we've little time. Get to the City of Opportunity. To breach the final door to my chambers, you'll need to be Jack. That means passing a bioscan and speaking a password in his voice. If you can kill one of Jack's body doubles in Opportunity, I can get you through that door. With every passing moment, I get closer to charging the vault key. If this planet is to survive, you must reach me and get the key. Welcome to Opportunity, Jack's city of the future. After he wipes you out and the rest of the Vault Hunters, all of Pandora will look like this. That's one of the body doubles Jack uses to confuse assassins and impress his underlings. Grab the pocket watch device he dropped. It echoes his biosignature to every machine in the immediate area, so his doubles can do all of his hand-kissing and baby-shaking for him. Good. You've got Jack's biodata, but there's still the matter of the password. Grab the watch. That pocket watch also records audio. Jack loved to listen to the praise of his underlings. We need to create a voice modulator so you can speak in Jack's voice. Get to an info kiosk. I can also turn that pocket watch into a voice modulator. Once we get enough samples of Jack's vocal patterns, you can speak in his voice. Get to an information kiosk. Yes, this is going to work. If I get a few more samples of Jack's voice, I can make a voice modulator for you. You need to get more voice samples from the other info kiosks. <sighs> Darn. That one didn't have any of the phrases I needed. Keep looking. I almost have what I need. Just activate a few more kiosks. I couldn't use anything from that kiosk. Keep looking. Attach the pocket watch quickly. Or, you know, slowly. I see the files. <sighs> All done. Great. Now, unfortunately... You will speak in Jack's voice until you reach the security door. I will tell you the password to open it at the appropriate time. <sighs> See you soon. That force field protects the final door to my chambers. It will only deactivate once you've destroyed the bunker. With the bunker destroyed, you can access the door to my chambers. Move quickly. Move quickly. He is still trying to siphon my power to charge the vault key. Release me from this, please. So, you finally made it. I'll see you soon. I'm not an artificial intelligence. Jack needs iridium and a siren to charge the vault key. He spent years pumping me full of iridium, using me to charge his key and manipulate his enemies. Destroying the iridium injectors that keep me alive will stop the key from charging, and it will end a lifetime of servitude. Now, press that button. The iridium injectors! Destroy them! Stop it, you, you piece of... No, I'll 
I'll try to expose the injectors. Just hold on. He's lying. The coward would never face you in person. That's how he works. He'll try to guilt you to make you think it's your fault. Don't listen. Promise me you'll kill him, friend. I'm sending you health now. Here, have some health. I'm sending health your way. Health incoming. Health for you, get it. Ammo incoming. Here, refill your ammo. Grab this ammo. Get to cover. I'm deploying cover. Get behind it. I'm raising more cover for you. Get to cover. I'm running out of cover to raise. Be careful. Get to Roland's turret. It'll heal you. Get to Roland's turret. It'll help resupply your ammo. Roland's turret will heal you if you get close to it. Roland, I need you to lower the shields around my iridium injectors. I meant now, Roland. Shoot the iridium tubes, hurry! It's done. It's finally done. Thank you, friend. You're an asshole. The shield is lowered. Fire, quickly! The injector is exposed. Destroy it! Roland lowered the shield. Destroy the injector! Quickly! Destroy the injector while the shield's down! The shield is down! Shoot the injector! I detect you're getting close. Hurry and reach me. You must get the vault key and deal with me. Jack ended my life long ago. This has to end now, Vault Hunter. I'm sorry for lying, but if you knew I wasn't a machine, you might not have been willing to come here and shut me down. I can't stop Jack's defenses! Be careful! Iridium alone could never charge the vault key. It needs a catalyst, something to awaken its power. It needs a siren. Jack acquired his siren catalyst a long time ago. He kept her hidden from the world for years, but finally, you will be able to set her free. To truly stop Jack from waking the warrior, you cannot just steal the vault key. You must destroy his catalyst. You must destroy me. Jack spent years pumping me full of iridium, using me to charge his key and manipulate his enemies, destroying the iridium injectors that keep me alive will stop the key from charging, and it will end a lifetime of servitude. Now, not quite. They were unable to secure the village. Only one member of the occupation force made it back alive. He has two broken legs, he lost an arm, and sunstroke seems to have driven him completely insane. But he keeps saying one name over and over. Salvador. I've managed to recover the last echo recording from the Ovejas occupation force, Jack. There are four treasure hunters who arrived on a shuttle several hours ago. They are currently on a bus to Firestone. The bus is still moving, sir. I don't... No problem, sir. 